The Wheel of Time Season 1 Episode 2 Recap Ran, Matt, Perrin, and Egwene follow Lan and Moraine out of the two rivers after being told that the Dark One is after them and that one of them is the prophesied Dragon Reborn. They cross the Terran River where Moraine destroys the ferry with the One Power. They ride and camp and talk about the dragon and how they don't trust Moraine. Lan broods. Matt wisecracks. Perrin laments about the death of his wife and has a strange encounter with wolves. Moraine teaches Egwene about the One Power and the Three Oaths and Rand and the others are haunted in their dreams by a glowing-eyed specter. Rand butts heads with Moraine and Egwene. They come across the Children of the Light or White Cloaks, Eamon Valda, who apparently enjoys capturing, torturing, and killing Aes Sedai and collecting their great serpent rings as trophies, questions Moraine and she expertly misleads without lying. They ride and camp some more, but Moraine slows their progress because she was injured during the Battle of Winternight. A Shadowspawn army forces them to take refuge in a dark abandoned city called Shatter Logoth. For some reason, the Shadowspawn are too scared of the city to enter. After nightfall, Matt finds a strange ruby-hilted dagger, and then the group is separated by a dark shadow called Mashadar. They barely escape. Nynaeve, who was previously thought to be dead, surprises Lan in the woods.